morning. I have some very exciting news. Today, we will all choose our class job. Yes, Olivia. I'd like to be the teacher. Well, that job is already taken. The jobs you can choose from are lights monitor. Does the lights monitor get to turn the lights on? Yes. And do they get to turn the light off? Yes. Now, sit in your chair, no hands in the air. Again, the jobs you can choose from are chair monitor, desk monitor, whiteboard monitor, and last but certainly not least, classroom pet monitor. Francine, I want to be the pet monitor. And touch that icky frog? Yuck! I want to be the lights monitor. During recess, I'd like you all to think about which job you'd like. Julian, which job do you want? I don't really want any of them. I think you'd be a good whiteboard monitor. You're very neat and tidy. Thanks, but no thanks. I can't wait to start being the classroom pet monitor. I'm going to do every single thing that Mrs. Hoggenmuller asked me to do. And more. I hope you all gave this some thought during recess. Now. Who would like to be desk monitor? All right, Otto, I've written you down for desk monitor. Chair monitor? Thank you, Oscar, for volunteering for chair monitor. Whiteboard monitor? Huh? All righty, Julian will be whiteboard monitor. Now. Who wants to be the classroom pet monitor? That job involves helping me take care of our classroom animals. It's one of the most important jobs. The most important job? I want to be pet monitor too. You said you wanted to be lights monitor. Well, I changed my mind. I want each of you for homework tonight to think of a short speech telling the class why you want the job you chose and why you would be good at it. What are you going to say in your speech tomorrow? I don't want to make a speech in front of the class. Hmm. I've got it. You won't have to say anything. You can show the class why you'd be a good whiteboard monitor. All you have to do is draw. Hmm. Would you like to come up and tell us why you'd be a good whiteboard monitor? Uh, instead of saying a speech, I'd like to show you. Thank you. Julian, that was brilliant. Otto and Oscar, please come up. Chairs and desks should be neat. If you don't understand, we can repeat. Desk and chairs should be straight. We can do that job just great. <laughs> Good job, boys. Now let's hear from Alexandra, who would like to be lights monitor. I am very good with lights. I turn the ones in my house on and off all the time. Thank you. Come on up, Olivia. I should be classroom pet monitor because I want to take care of the animals and they want me to take care of them. These are our class pets. Can you say no to what they want? Yeah! All right, Francine. 
Let's hear what you have to say. Instead of telling you how good I am at taking care of animals, I'm going to show you. I brought my cat, Gwendolyn, today. See how shiny Gwendolyn's coat is? That's because I brush it every day. And see how she's not too skinny but not too plump? That's because I feed her just the right amount. And she can even do tricks. Speak, Gwendolyn. All right. Since we have two volunteers, we're going to vote for who will be classroom pet monitor this month. Whoever doesn't win will be pet monitor next month. Now, raise your hand if you want Olivia to be pet monitor first. And now those who want Francine to have the job this month. All right, Francine will be our pet monitor. But I would do such a good job. Not too hot and not too cold. Perfect. Olivia, you're the best pet monitor we've ever had. That's true. And because you're doing such a good job, I'm bringing in a few more animals for you to take care of. Excuse me, Olivia. We need to straighten the desk. If you want, I can help you catch flies for our frog at recess. Gross. I'm not going to catch some icky flies. But you'll help the lizard shed his skin if he needs you to, right? Do what? Here, I'll show you. Here, Francine, why don't you hold him for a second? Sweet little lizard. I'll take care of you. There you go. Olivia, I think you should be pet monitor. Yes! I mean, thank you, Francine. Yes, Olivia? Since I'm so good with animals, do you think we could get a few more? Like maybe a sea lion or an elephant? I'm afraid not. Rule of life number 55. If your teacher says no to a sea lion or an elephant, a tiger is probably out of the question. And then the lizard got out, and then Francine knocked over the desks and the chairs, and then the lizard started running away, but then I stopped all the kids from scaring him, and then Francine said I could be the pet monitor because I was so good with the pets. This sounds like a very exciting story, sweetie, but let's finish it tomorrow. Time for bed now. Okay. But you're happy I'm pet monitor, right? I couldn't be more thrilled. I couldn't be more thrilled either. Good night, Olivia. Night, Mom. <laughs> <laughs>